If there were two words that are on the lips of most tech enthusiasts, it's how much you hate iOS and or Android and virtual reality. You can't go anywhere without virtual reality being thrown at you. It is the buzzword du jour. And it's still very much in its infant stages. But each year, the best and brightest in the VR world meets in downtown Los Angeles to celebrate the greatest in VR at VR LA. So since it's in our backyard, we decided to check it out. Although I still think VR LA, you should be able to just strap on a virtual reality headset and go while sitting in your chair. We're not quite there yet. As virtual reality matures, there was a huge push early on to make the visual stunning. If it didn't look good, you weren't going to believe that you were actually there. And audio was mostly just strap on a pair of headphones. But now VR audio is coming and that was a huge emphasis at the show. So what is VR audio? So as you're watching this video, turn your head to the left and you're going to hear the audio kind of stronger out of your right ear. Turn it the other way, you'll hear it coming stronger out of your left ear. That's what companies are trying to simulate. So when you pair this new VR audio with VR videos, it creates that really immersive experience that we've always imagined virtual reality could be. So the biggest name in sound was there to showcase VR audio, and that was, of course, Dolby. They're trying to bring their Atmos technology to the virtual reality world. If you've ever been to a theater that has Dolby Atmos, you'll know how drastically different that sounds. Dolby wants you to have that same experience when you put on your headphones and strap on the goggles. But Dolby wasn't the only folks there. Skull Candy was also there with a huge presence. They unveiled their new Crusher VRA headphones, and of course, VRA standing for virtual reality audio. These have been designed entirely with virtual reality in mind. They've got custom drivers designed by Skull Candy to deliver haptic bass. The intensity can be controlled through a capacitive touch pad on the side of the ear cup. And when they eventually come to market at some point, they're also going to feature pretty badass battery life with 29 hours of rechargeable battery and be totally wireless. They had a really cool demonstration to show it off. They had VR audio that was visualized showing the power of the headphones. Still in development, when they come out, they should retail for around 300 bucks. Of course, if you want us to test them, let us know and we'll put them through the paces. So aside from VR audio, there's a ton of other really cool stuff to see. Skull Candy was also hosting the world's first VR rave. The DJ was performing using a virtual reality interface developed by the Wave VR. So instead of just wiki wiki on some records or hit and play on a playlist, uh, it was all done using virtual reality. If you wanted to get even more into the rave, you could put on a backpack that was synced with the music so you could actually feel the bass and experience the visuals through VR headsets that you wore as well. And they also had a gigantic LED display behind the DJ. But hands down, the coolest thing that we saw was Mineride's Airflow Flight Simulator. If you ever watched like Superman and you've been like, damn, I wish I could fly like that. They suspended you mid-air Mission Impossible style. They had fans blowing all over you. You put on an Oculus headset and you pretty much took flight. You could zoom around mountains. It's just an incredible experience that for me showcased the best of what virtual reality could be. If you like your domes either big, iron, or thunder, you'll be pretty happy with what HP and Radeon did. They had a 360 degree projector dome, and it's exactly what it sounds like. They invited everyone to lay down on a bean bag, kick up your feet, relax, and look up at the short film that pretty famous artist Android Jones created. It looked like you were going through a nebula, then a dragon appeared, it looked like you took a lot of things that are probably illicit and illegal, and then you walked out to the real world, or at least sort of real world. So virtual reality is super cool, but virtual reality right now requires you to be tethered into a computer or wires to be somewhere. A company called VR Arcade, which they are showing off a completely wireless VR system. They demoed kind of an old Western style game where you could just shoot bad guys as they popped up. They designed it for places like arcades, if those are still a thing that exists, or even family entertainment centers, which I don't know if those even exist anymore. That's probably just sitting on the couch. There's a ton of other really cool stuff at VR LA. They had a 3D LED TV. They had a ton of developers showing off what the future of VR is going to be. And when I left and got into my real life car and drove home my real life world, I wish I could strap on a headset, fly, watch a dragon nebula guy, and just relax in virtual reality. So VR super new and still very strange to experience. What do you guys think about VR? Do you think it really is the future? Is it going to go the way of 3D TVs? Or people are like, oh, that's something cool that I'm never going to buy. It uh, looks like VR seems to be here to stay, but I want to know your thoughts on it. If you are a VR fan, mash that thumbs up button and let us know. I am John Ranger from Techno Buffalo, and I will virtually see you in the next video.